On today's Toy Spot, we'll be looking at Spider-Man Origins Iron, Iron Spider-Man. Um, this comes to us from, of course, Spider-Man Origins, or the line I'd like to call, Let's Make Everything Metallic, um, if we have a look at the figure here. I don't like the packaging, to be honest. Um, it's got this very uh, various um, designs of Spider-Man, the McFarlane Spider-Man, which I've always liked. Spider-Man up at the top here. And if we have a look on the back here, we've got everything metallic. So we've got metallic Spider-Man, we've got the Spider-Man 2099, which I've already done a review of. We've got the Lizard, which I believe also sports a metallic paint scheme. Doc Ock, we've got another Spider-Man, and we've got Demo Goblin. I might want to get this guy, um, just because I have the other goblins as well. But uh, I really don't like the fact that everything, every character in this wave seems to have this metallic paint scheme. Um, yeah, so... Oh, and then of course we've got the other two figures here. Maybe if I actually had scrolled down you would have actually seen that. But we've got Secret Wars Spider-Man with his hand glider. Because, you know, Spider-Man, when he's fighting crime, needs his hand glider. And then of course we've got Rhino. Which I prefer the other Rhino more so, even though I, I think I like this head better, but uh, there you have Rhino. So there you have Iron Spider-Man. What we'll do is we'll open this guy up and we'll, we will have a closer look. And here we have Iron Spider. Um, now that he's out of the package, let's get a good look at the figure here. Now of course, uh, for those who may or may not know, Iron Spider-Man came to us during the Civil War comic arc. Um, Tony Stark designed this very nice outfit for him, which featured uh, these mechanical arms as well. Um, I like the design of the character. It's probably one of my more favorite Spider-Man costumes outside of the symbiote spider and, of course, the classic Spider-Man. Um, it was a different change. It didn't last very long, much like every other thing. A writer comes in and redesigns a character and then they end up going back to the original costume but it was nice that we we got a different look for Spider-Man for a, a short period of time. Um, in the way of the figure I have to say what my first complaint with the head or at least with the figure is the head I find the uh, the head is a little long it almost seems like it should be a little shorter um, I'm not like I said I'm not a big fan um, his articulation in the head almost seems a bit limited. It does have a ball joint in the head, but for some reason, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to want to move all that much for me. Um, overall, my opinion of the figure is it's it's a bit weaker of a, of a character. They've put a lot of paint, this metallic paint, they've put a lot on the figure. As a result, um, especially in the way of my the knees on my character, they're very stiff. And when I say stiff, it's not a, you know, just bend them and stuff, and, and you could probably loosen them up. Loosen them up. I almost feel like if, if you bend them too much, these things are just going to pop right off. Um, he's also got this weird thing going on here in the, in the ankles. Um, you can probably see it on this one, but I find, uh, I guess it's because of the way the articulation they had to put in the ankles. It just seems like he's got this really gaunt not gaunt, but he's got this really wide ankle going here, and then he goes, and then there's a more slender, he's got a slenderer foot here. Um, I also had a tough time when I took the figure out that his foot was bent, and I really had to work it enough to get it back leveled. Again, it almost felt like it was going to snap off on me. Um, I don't know, it just seems to me like, and I'll put his arm back up here, it seems to me with the figure itself that for one reason or another, it just doesn't seem to work. 
Um, I like the design, but like his leg for, for, for some reason, at least on mine, no matter how much I move it and try to get it back right, it seems to just want to spread itself out. Uh, and he ends up having this, this gimp zombie leg going on here where he's dragging his foot. Um, I've, like I said, I've tried moving it, but I'm going to have to probably play around with it a little bit more. Right now, he doesn't stand all that well. Um, he does have a lot of articulation, don't get me wrong, like there's articulation even in the fingers, even though it's, the articulation is, is in all four fingers. Most of the time when you get articulation for Spider-Man, it's in the middle two, but they've decided to give it articulation in all four, so he can make a fist. Um, and then he's got articulation in the shoulders, he's got articulation in the in the mid-arm and then in the shoulders. He's even got articulation in the claws. So there's a joint here as well as here. So you can have those bent. Um, they don't bend all that well because they're they're a flimsier plastic, almost like a rubbery plastic. And then they all have a ball joint in the back area of his, uh, his arms here. So, I mean, you can get movement there as well. Um, my overall verdict of the figure is it isn't bad even though I don't like for some reason the way it's molded or the way that I've got it out of the packaging it seems like I'm gonna have to fight a lot with him to get him standing right um, his accessory and very nice that they've included it because I probably will need it for this figure is they give you a Spider-Man Origins stand um, Overall opinion, though, he was released. He was re-released during the 2009 Spider-Man series, that was most notable for the Matt Gargan Venom. Um, although I don't think it has this metallic sheen to it. I think they went with a lighter sheen, and then there was a variant that had more of a, almost a see-through red plastic. But uh, I'm kind of on the fence with this guy. I like the des design of the character. I'm just a bit fussy on the. The sculpt, or at least of the lack of uh, ease with the ease with ease with the figure, but there you have a toy spot on Spider-Man Origins Iron Spider, and I'll see you guys next time.